your community. And I send it in there as a link. Right. Weird. Shoot. Um, I'm in. So it cool, must, cool. Oh, it it's automatically recording. I'm gonna pause the recording. Sure. So my, my new job here is assistant principal. Um, that's what I did at Marion Seltzer, but here at Orchard, it's very different because there are so many tech things to learn with technology. Um, so I'm, I'm learning right along with you. And of course, the virtual environment and the masks, I mean, it makes it all so different, so memorable. Um, but we're going to, we hope you join us every morning for uh, um, a meeting like this. Uh, we're going to kick it off with our vision statement. So I don't know if you guys can see it in reverse, but Ms. Hainline will just read it and I'll uh, speak back. And if you guys want to say it back with me, you're welcome to. Okay, our vision. Our vision. To transform teaching and learning. To transform teaching and learning. Through technology integration. Through technology integration and providing the highest quality education and providing the highest quality education experience experience that ensures creative and inventive thinking that ensures creative and inventive thinking with a stem focus with a stem focus in student centered classrooms in student centered living rooms <laughs> got you there <laughs> so we'll go over that every morning it's important to know what we're trying to do here at orchard but i wanted to throw a bonus question out there does anybody know what stem stands for you can put it in the chat if you know the answer hmm. i'll give you a hint each of the letters stands for a word Smelly teachers. No, 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 no. Sorry, that's sorry, right, sorry, Dave. Sorry. Uh, Try again, Mr. Funk. Try again. <laughs> do we have anyone in the chat? We do. Oh, we Layla. Do. She's All right. got it right. Oh. We've got one. Is there anybody else? You beat me, Layla. We'll share it in a minute. Oh, Charles and Ernest yes. got it too. Nice. I hope you weren't private chatting the answers to each other. Let's see if we can get one more winner on this. Anybody else know it? Mm -hmm. All right, Layla Schaefer and Charles Ernest got the correct answer. We're gonna have to send All them right. a little prize. In diamond the... too. Oh, Diamond Harper. Oh, right. so which one, let's see. Was that? Um... So Layla, Layla said it first. Right. Layla, are you okay coming off mute and telling yeah. everyone? All right, tell us what you and wrote. I got my science, technology, yes. science, technology, engineering, and math. Very yes. good. Nice job, Layla. Okay, you want to introduce your story? Yeah. So, guys, uh, this is a new year, as you guys know, and um, it's new for me to get to know the Orchard family. So, when I first got here, I asked what the little tiger was. I was like, what, what, is, what is that tiger? And Miss Hainline told me, oh, it's an ocelot. And I was like, what, huh, what, a who? So, um, so what I did is I did a little research and then I actually wrote a story. So um, using um, Keynote and uh, Pages, the story template, I made chapter one of The Orchard by the Lake. So I hope you guys love it because I love doing it. And chapter two will be coming soon. So I'll turn it over to um, let's see here. Let's to the see. movie. We're gonna share our screen. Okay, uh, Mr. Hall, can you only see the the movie, or do you also see my pictures on the side? I only see the movie, but I do see your tabs up top. I do only see the movie. That's okay. Okay. It looks good. All right. Thanks so much. Oops, I moved this to the mm -hmm. Now I can't press play because I don't know how to do it. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoy. In the Apple Orchard by the Lake by David Funk, Assistant Principal. 
Chapter One. We are all ocelots. In an apple orchard by the lake, the children of Cleveland discovered that they could magically transform into ferocious and furry ocelots. Wait, wait, what's an ocelot? According to National Geographic magazine, an ocelot is twice the size of the average house cat. It is an excellent hunter and swimmer and be, can be found living in the jungles of South America, the grasslands of Texas, and maybe, just maybe, even in the apple orchards of Cleveland? First, the children had come to the orchard just for the apples. They would bring home the most delicious fruit for their families. But over time in the orchard, the children developed the power of transformation. The children could transform into ocelots. Their parents were amazed, but loved that their children were so happy and so talented. They could jump high and always land on their feet. They could climb to the tops of the trees and hear Lake Erie's waters a mile away. In this orchard, the children learned so much about themselves, about each other, and of course, about apples. The ocelots of the orchard loved apples, and there were always enough for everyone. A small group of ocelots even realized that there were recipes for cooking apples to make delicious side dishes like applesauce and apple pie. However, in 2020, everything changed. A selfish lion named Corona declared himself king, but he was not planning to be a good king. He collected all of the apples for himself. Like a virus in the orchard, no one could come out to play. And he didn't just like eating apples. He ate ocelots when they got too close to him. Ocelots, ocelots, where will you roam? Now that the lion thinks your trees are home, Ocelots, ocelots, where will you play? Now that the lion thinks he's here to stay. To be continued. Chapter two, coming soon. All right, that was very creative, Mr. Funk. I Thank really you. enjoyed that. Yeah, Thank you. nice work. Yeah, it was it was uh, fun to to mix like the idea of what is an ocelot and the apple orchard, and of course, Corona. So a lot of you maybe don't know that Corona in Spanish actually means crown. Some of you might know that. So I thought, oh well, what about a lion wearing a crown, like pretending he's a king? It was a good job. I'm Thank excited you. for chapter two. Oh, thanks, thanks. Okay, so we have about five minutes left, but we did want to ask you guys what went well your first week of school. If you can, you can type in the chat box, but if typing in the chat box is hard for you, you can also unmute your microphone and tell us what, your, what went well, something that went okay your first week of school. And if you put it in the chat, we'll read it. And if you come off mute, we'll all hear it. And if, if nobody types, I'm going to have to call on people. Maybe nothing went well. Oh, my gosh. You can oh, write no. nothing. You could write nothing. The apples all fell on their heads. Something, something probably went well. Charles Ernest said nothing went well. Oh, oh there we go. Alvarez got to see his friends. Tatiana got a few assignments done. That's great. And 
the Harper got the off the golf got off early on the first day. Well, that is a win, yeah, if you ask me. Right. How come we didn't get off early? No, right. We didn't go. My my boss didn't let me go home early. <sighs> That's she sounds rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it sounds like there were some people who had a much harder time. If you want to share what was hard about your first week of school, maybe Mr. Funk and I can help you moving forward. So something that didn't go the way you wanted it to go. I couldn't post none of my work. Okay. But, but reading. That. Yeah. Um, I, I heard that when you make the files, like you're, it's okay to make them, but then you can't upload them. Is that right? Yes. And I can't download uh, my virtual locker for Ms. Uh, Zellwin. Okay. Okay. So we're going to look into that today. Thank you. Anybody else? Jalen. The files are so big that they won't upload and they're taking forever to download. Okay. We're, we're, we are going to reach out to IT about that to see how we can fix that for you. Is, do you. Just out of curiosity, did we give you guys a hotspot or no? No hotspot. No hotspot. Okay. Anybody else have any troubles they want to work through? Okay, is that a problem other students are having too? Just give me a thumbs up uh, or just write in the chat, yes or no. I see some, no problems in the chat. Thumbs up, good. All right, so Mr. Manning, we're gonna look into that and we'll get back to you today. All right, so we are gonna let you go two minutes early today. We'll be trying to share videos or something fun each day. I think tomorrow I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share a video yeah. myself, something I'm gonna create. And it's also a space where if you had something really cool you wanted to create, if you let Mr. Funk and I know, we can share it for the rest of the school too. Yeah, it could be like um, a lyrics, like a song or a rap, um, a poem. Uh, it could be uh, a little short, like choreographed dance if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, there's anything you want. And of course, if you use an Apple software to do it, you get extra bonus points. Right. And we will see you here tomorrow at 8.15. All right. It was so good to see you guys. Nice to meet Bye. you guys. Bye.